So we're consuming a ton of content right now. And one of the things that I wanted to, to, to really speak to is just this idea about content overload so that we can begin to um, create a system around what we're consuming that's literally going to dig into the direction we want to take our businesses. And so, um, so I'm going to look at it from, from three different perspectives. So the very first thing is, uh, what do I need to consume? Okay. So the very first thing I'll think about is, what do I need to consume? Okay. This is going to be built based off of 100 bajillion percent your goals. So the very first thing you need to understand is your goals. Okay. So if I know my goals and I'm looking at this log list of all the things that I can be consuming, every class that I take should be lining up with my goals. And if they're not, um, it could be a great class, but it could be a poor use of your time right now. And I'm not, I'm not saying that we don't all need to be um, doing classes that are going to help us grow and become uh, bigger, better, stronger in the future. We need to future pace this, but there's a lot of stuff that we need to be consuming right now that are going to help me um, execute some things today and get me prepared mentally for the future. And so if I'm looking at my goals and I still want to be able to have my goals as an immovable space, then I really need to make sure that I am doing everything that I can to consume materials based off of my goals. And so I want to think about it like this. If I were to look at this, so here's, I've got the content I want to consume. And then there's a filter in this whole system. And this filter right here is my goals, right? The content that I want to consume, the only thing that's filtering through should be the stuff that's hitting my goals. Everything else is just being dropped out of the other side, okay? And this can all be good future-paced learning and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, I really need to stop and consider the things that are going to be the most important to me now. And so then when I get into this, and this is kind of coming into my desired. So the content filtering through my goals, this is a desired, sorry, results. As I'm putting things into actionable items, everything then should be spitting out my goals. They should be achievable, okay? Content that I'm consuming, filtered through my goals, put into action strategy behind what I'm doing for my business. Putting what I'm learning into, into an actionable item is gonna give me my goals or gonna give me my results or accomplishment, right? This can still be packing up and building a lot of what I want to do future pace, but I really think you need to stop and consider right now, what's the one thing that I need the most? And another way to learn how to do a listing presentation just might not be that unless it's tying into a goal that I look at as being become, becoming detrimental, right? So if I look at my goals and I want to be able to close, let's just, I want to close 30 transactions. Well, everything that I had as strategies before, I can easily go through and say, well, this one just got pulled out of the rug from underneath me and this one too. So now I know that my content that I need to consume needs to be the strategies that I had already set in place so that I can come back to this whole machine here. The content that I need to consume, filtering through my goals, desired outcomes, so I put action to these things. And then I'm getting the results that I need to post it on at the other end, okay? This needs to be the way that we're measuring what we're bringing into our world, okay? This is what we really need to be bringing, what we're, what we're bringing into our world. And as a matter of fact, uh, one of the things that I'm going to say, um, and it's going to be a self-reflective thing, is that, like, if there's stuff that has cool titles but poor descriptions, cut it off. I mean, unless you know the person and, and have a conversation with them. Amy actually talked to me about this yesterday, is that um, I didn't have descriptions for what was going on with the classes, and so... I went through and made sure that, that those descriptions were in there. But one of the first ways that you figure out what to consume and what not to consume, if the description doesn't make sense to be able to incorporate a strategy to put something actionable into your world, then cut it off. That's not something you consume. It filters out of the side. If I'm looking at my world and I see here's a strategy that I had in place, here's another strategy that I had in place, and here's one of my priorities that I had in place to be able to hit my goal. Well, if these things were ripped out from underneath me, that's the content I need to consume. How do people do this differently? How can I re-strategize these elements? 
And the only way that we know this is to be able to have our goals in front of us. And when I look at these goals, this is how they should be. Very first thing, I should know what my main goal is. Then I should be able to look at that goal and know what my priorities are. So what are the priority things that will help me to achieve this goal? So if it's 33, lead gen is probably going to be a big priority where I'm going to bring my lead gen into place. So I'm going to look at getting to 33 um, lead gen, and then I probably have a big marketing plan. And then my last thing is going to be my database. Okay, so I'm just spit shooting from the hip on these, but if these are my three right now priorities for hitting my goal, and then I've got all these strategies laced out to the other side of it, well, right now, your marketing, the way that you're planning on doing marketing, especially for those of you who may have a big marketing for farming neighborhoods, you can't do this right now. You can't do it well or can't do it as much as you were. So if I'm thinking about content that I want to consume, I should be devouring content that's going to put actionable items towards marketing. I need to understand what Facebook is doing right now with marketing. I need to understand that a lot higher. I need to figure out what I can do to make sure I can create the virtual tour, tours or, or marketing my product, my companies, my homes um, in a different way so that people can see it. How do I get in front of enough people so that everything that I'm doing, I am truly moving into a space that I'm replacing the things that I can't do anymore with the content that I devour. Okay, I'm replacing the things I can't do anymore with the content that I can devour. I don't think a lot of people have been looking at this. It's been like most of the things that we've been consuming has been in this space here. That sounds cool. I want to talk about it. It's like, well, I don't know if that's going to be a big deal or not. You've got to be able to self-evaluate, and you do that through your goals. So if you're filtering all the content that you're consuming through your goals, you're probably moving in the right direction. If you don't really know how to do this section, that's fine. Just have a conversation with me. I'm, I'm happy to speak to anybody, help them to understand, like, when we really look at what we're doing in this business, everything and the content that we're devouring should be stacked on top of our goals and filtering into the desired results. And the way that happens is to truly make sure that everything that we're doing is filtered through goals, actionable towards our desired results, and they're going to get our goals accomplished. What's been pulled out from underneath you right now? And hopefully you're thinking about this. If you haven't, you need to think about it. What has been pulled out from underneath me? What was I doing as a strategy to achieve my desired results this year that now I can't in this current moment do? And the reality is that normal isn't coming around the corner. This is the new normal. So now how do I make sure that I'm poised to go forward, okay? Hopefully this makes sense. And you're welcome to pipe up if you have any conversations or curiosities. You're welcome to write anything in the chat box over there, um, and we'll pick up those conversations. But this is our new thing. And I made a quick graphic of what this looks like, and I'll send it over to you guys. Um, but I think it's real simple. Everything that we consume should be filtered through our desired goals that will move into actionable strategy that at the end will spit out an accomplished goal. Everything else we just save for later. And some of that stuff is good stuff to save for later. But it's got to be able to align with the strategies that you've lost. We've all lost some of our strategies towards hitting our goals. Okay? Second thing. <clears throat> we really need to consider this. I talk about this a lot. I'm going to bring it into this space. And we're going to have a, just a quick review over it. So, second thing I'm looking at is schedule. So, now I've got my content, right? Filter through my goals. Next thing I need to look at, if I'm putting actionable items into place, how is my schedule supporting that? When I look at my schedule, I need to consider, do I have time for the content, right? So the very first thing I can look at is if I'm talking about trying to figure out what content to consume, do I have the time to consume the content, or is there an alternative for it? And I think that's one of the things that we're missing out on is um, is what are the alternatives? I'm okay if you miss my class and you just want to be able to scrub through the video later. That's fine by me. That doesn't bother me at all. You can get through into the meat of it real fast. Um, there are people who are putting out quick summaries of the things that they're teaching. Uh, there's people who are just creating graphical teaching stuff. And so the second thing I'm looking at is my schedule. If I don't have the time okay, to consume, then is there another option? So I'm looking for alternatives. If there's not an alternative, well, then guess what? I got to do the one thing. I got to just figure out how to get the time. And so this is a calculated moment. So if I'm looking at my schedule and I've already got my schedule stacked, 
because most of you should already be running a schedule. If you're not running a schedule, that's a conversation for another day. But if we're running our schedules and we're looking at it, then our schedule is just stacked. But something's coming around the corner to help me understand how to move my business forward. Well, that needs to be a calculated conversation. Calculated. Which one of these items can I cut out so that I can make sure that I'm being able to consume again the content as this content overload moment is happening? How can I consume the content to make sure that like it is going to be beneficial for my business? The actionable items got to be able to come into place too. So if I'm looking at my calendar every single day, I should be looking at um, if there is something that I need, do I have the time to spend on it? And stop just saying yes to everything. This is a great, 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 great moment to say no to a lot of things. There's a lot of phenomenal teachers out there and a lot of phenomenal groups out there. And there's a lot of content going on. And if you're like me, you've been inundated with some of these people who you actually really like, people who do really, really cool stuff. I have joined two groups. I've probably been asked to join 50 in the last two weeks. I'm looking at what will be the most beneficial way for me to be able to pull strategy into my business that's gonna help us move forward. Even though it may be cool, a cool teacher or cool content, cool doesn't matter to me anymore. I used to have time for cool, now I have to be able to be much more purposeful in the things that I need to do, right? If I look at my world, I get to sleep, I get to do personal stuff and I get to do business. There's 24 hours in a day. Okay. Most of us are going to sleep between six and eight. Re leaves the rest of it for us to do in those spaces. And this is where we've got to be able to balance. If I really want to make sure that I'm capitalizing on using my personal time for growth and for family, well, then I need to have that scheduled out and calculated as well. Otherwise, what's really happening, going to happen, and continues to happen, is business robs from these two places all the time in our lives. And so if I'm going to be able to find a space to consume content, to be able to put actionable items into place, more than likely I'm still in for my sleep or my personal life. And so we've got to be more, we've got to be more adherent to a schedule and more in tune to making sure that everything that we're doing is moving towards a cause that we have laid out in our goals. So if I'm looking at my schedule, it's got to be a calculated moment of looking at, like, do I actually have the time to consume this content? And by consuming this content, do I actually have time to put an actionable item into place? This is the biggest one, I think, in the schedule. You've heard me say it about 100 times today. If I am sitting in front of somebody learning something, I should be able to take that moment of knowledge and there should be something that can go right back into my life. Everything that I learn and grow from, I should be able to take something from that and go right back into my life. There has to be an actionable item in everything that we take in, in everything that we content that we consume. Every book that we read, every class that we take, every seminar we sit along, in all honesty, every church service that we listen to. All of these things that we're consuming content-wise, if we just want to have a big brain, it's kind of a moot point. We've got to be able to make sure what are the actionable items that are going to incorporate change and or activity towards accomplishing a goal. That's the biggest piece of the puzzle, guys. When I look at my schedule, I've calculated it, but I've got to make the time for the actionable item. I have to make time for actionable items because it will just stack up in a notebook somewhere and then you'll never forget about I mean, you'll forget about it and you'll never put it into practice. And then you'll go, gosh, that really was going to make a big difference for me, but I didn't do anything about it. So if we start looking at our world and we start looking at the content that we can consume based off of our goals and we're filtering it through our goals and it's replacing some of our strategies and our priorities, we then look at our schedule. Does our schedule have time to be able to consume content because they're going to be more specific about the content that we consume? And then out of each of these things that we consume, we've got to be able to put an actual item into place. Otherwise, we just learn something for learning's sake, and that's just pointless. That is a pointless activity. So first, filter everything through your goals. Second, I have the schedule, and I calculate that. That is a calculated move. I adhere to a schedule for both or for my sleep, my personal, and my business. If I'm adhering to a schedule, I know where I can sacrifice 
so I can learn that knowledge and I've got to be able to put it into action. Otherwise, it was a moot point. It was an hour lost. We won't get that back. If you don't put things into action, it's an hour lost or two hours lost. God forbid, six hours lost. Okay, sweet. Last thing I'm going to say is that we're consuming a lot of business stuff right now. Yet, when we're looking at our goals, I think one of the challenges that we're having, we're starting to watch it and pay attention to it now, um, which is a good thing because a lot of times it comes up late, is this. So our third thing that we're going to look at for content is what are my current counterbalance needs? Okay. So when I look at it and I look at the balance of life, I'm going to look at physical, I'm looking at a mental, I'm looking at emotional, I'm looking at business, I'm looking at spiritual, I'm looking at family. You may have more, you may have another one that you'll add in there, but if I'm looking at each of these things and I look at how, if I want to be great, and this is something that could be great on a scale of one to five, and I'm going to actually talk about this towards the end of the week, on a scale of one to five, where would I say one being terrible, five being like I'm doing really well, where would I be physically if I weighed myself? If I weighed what I was doing in my life physically, where would that be? If I looked at my mental state, where's my mental state right now? What am I doing to help my mental state grow? Where's my family? What am I doing to help my family grow? Spiritually, how am I doing spiritually? Business, everybody should be hitting F5 on their business. Everybody's consuming business stuff. Emotionally, and these are my numbers. I'm just writing it down numbers one to five. And so if I'm looking at this, it's easy to see where I might need to bring some counterbalance into my world and will consuming something more about how to do business really well when I'm on point for my business, will it have a better impact for me to counterbalance into the emotional state of things and take an hour just to go through and do some meditation or do some um, journaling or do something that's gonna help me empty the brain out for this emotional side, mental side of things, but whatever it looks like, like what am I doing right now to make sure that these things are in balance? Because if they are not in balance, then we're going to have bigger issues than can I actually do business. We're going to have bigger issues. And so for me, when I'm looking at this and I'm going through all of these elements, the first thing I'm going to look at my goals, I'm going to filter content into my goals. Does it make sense or does it not make sense? So replacing the strategies. And then I look at my schedule. If I'm looking at my schedule. Do I have the time to calculate? Am I adhering to a schedule that I can calculate where I'm going to pull this information from? And then is the actual items going to go into place? But at the end of the day, I need to make sure, like, if I'm imbalanced in a lot more spaces than business, I may need to find my sacrifice moments for myself more than for my business. I need to find the way to make sure the physical side of things is happening. I need to go out for a walk. It might be better for you to go walk for an hour than it would be to sit in a, to a class virtually for an hour to consume content. I want you to think about this. This is all going to be a new normal, a new balance. And it's going to be a new way in which we do things. And so for us, we just need new filters. This is the main conversation. Hopefully you're seeing this. This is all about filtering conversations. I can say no to a lot of the stuff that's coming my way right now. I am consuming content. I am digging into it, but I can say no to a lot of things that's coming my way right now because it's not going to be beneficial for me in this space first. And then when I really look at it, I don't want to sacrifice any of these to make sure that that content's coming into my world. I want to focus on building these things, building counterbalance in my life more so than I do in every single inch of my business. I need to make sure that this person is healthy too because if this person is not healthy, it doesn't matter how good I am at business. So that's what I'm looking at. When, we, when we're taking in and we're seeing all the content and we're getting into the content overload moment, these are the things that I would say are just key elements for us to understand what we need to take in, what we don't need to take in, what we need to save for later, how we need to take this information in, what action do we need to pull from it, 
and um, and yeah, it's just new filters for our new version of normal. So I'm gonna open up. If anybody has any questions or comments, I'd I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear any ahs. I'd love to just hear from you guys in general if you just want to say hello. But um, if not, we're we're good. I think this gives us a space to be able to figure out what we can do to start evaluating the content that's out there and how it's going to apply to my business and the counterbalancing of my life. I love the silence. Hello, Douglas. Just kidding. All right, guys. Y'all are awesome. Really. I hope this helps. I'm going to send out a couple of things to you guys. Um, Chris is going to put some notes together. Uh, make sure y'all have um, a couple of things that we talked about today. And just this is about filters. And it's okay to say no to things, especially me. It's okay to say no to all the classes. I'm going to continue to bring one to two classes every single day just to make sure people are connected to growing. Um, but you've got to be able to start measuring and filtering your new results. Uh, sorry, your new filters, your new norm in, in getting the results that you desire. So hope you all guys have a great day. It is a dreary morning over here in Cypress, Texas. It's a little bit overcast, but I, I'd welcome some rain. It'd be nice to wash away some of this gunk. So y'all be awesome. Have a beautiful day. And uh, remember, you're absolutely going to make it through this. Just keep one step forward. It's all about movement.